Hello guys, welcome back to Inventu. Bedroy here again with another video. So today, I'll help you understand the different terms you'll encounter while creating your Arduino projects. I'll explain it to you as simple as I can, avoiding any computations or formulas as much as possible to avoid confusions. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So first, we'll talk about the terms used in measuring electricity, which we'll start with current. Term used for electric current, not water current you see on the oceans or rivers. But just like water, electric current is used to describe the directional flow of electricity in the circuit. We'll be constantly using this term moving forward. Voltage. So the term voltage, if you watched from our previous videos, is used to power up our Arduino board and its components. Commonly, is 5 volts or 3.3 volts. So what really is a voltage? Let's use the flow of water through the pipe to illustrate this. The pipe being the wires and the water being the electricity. To get the water out of the faucet, we need some pressure to push the water out. In electrical terms, that pressure is called voltage. So in relation to our Arduino board, 3 volts has lower electrical pressure than the 5 volt spin on our Arduino board. Our wall socket or power outlet can output 110 volts or 220 volts depending on the country you are from. Batteries have different voltages, 1.5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 24 volts, and many more. Note that always check your components if they are for a 5 volts or 3.3 volts power source. Since if they can't take the pressure sent to them by our Arduino board, it might damage your component. Now that we know what a volt or voltage is, let's proceed to amps or ampere, which is used to measure a current. It is a unit or term that is used in counting how many electrical charge does the electricity produce in a matter of second. To simplify this, it's more like measuring how much water you can collect in the bucket in one second. You can mostly find it in your chargers, like cell phone chargers or any other battery chargers. The higher the amperes of the charger, the faster it's more likely to charge or fill your batteries. Note that our Arduino board can only supply 40 milliamps or 0.04 amps per pin. So having too much component sharing the same pins might cause damage to our board or our component. Since we already know voltages and amperes, we can now proceed to watts or wattage, a unit of power. So in a circuit, the electricity we used will be converted to energy like the LEDs, converting the electricity to light energy or heat energy. That energy is measured in watts with the formula of P is equals to I times V using our water illustration, V being the voltage or water pressure multiplied to I being how much water is poured into you in one second. P will be the force you will receive if you get hit with water using a fireman's water hose. Very powerful, isn't it? So to summarize it all, voltage is the electric current pressure, amperes is the amount of electricity produced by the current per second, and wattage is how strong is the power produced by our current. So that's all for today, guys. If you have more questions regarding this topic, please feel free to ask on the comment section below and we'll try to answer it as quickly as we could. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.